What's going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD going to do a Final Cut Pro 10 speed test. So what I'm going to do is export a 1 minute 1080p video clip. Got a few of them in the timeline right here. Just messing around. Uh, got a slight little vignette applied and up in the inspector section is where we can make all the adjustments to the effects, to the color. Uh, we can transform crop, we can mess with the stabilization, rolling shutter. So there's a lot of things to dive into. Uh, let me guys take you through the timeline. This transition is called Earthquake. So we got a lot of new ones, kind of fun to mess around with. Uh, and then this one right here is called Directional. So definitely an improvement from the previous version. Uh, now one of my gripes with the older Final Cuts obviously was that it was insanely slow. It didn't really take advantage of the multi-cores. This one is 64-bit uh, and it should in fact take advantage of all the cores and hyper-threading, turbo boost, all that good stuff. So uh, fast forward to the end of the clip. It is one minute long. We're going to head up to the top tab and select share and you guys can see there's a lot of options. We can go DVD, Blu-ray, we can go straight to YouTube. Uh, for this instance, I'm going to export movie. Uh, then we're greeted with a few options. So we can pick from a few different settings. I'm going to select H.264 since that's what you would use to upload to YouTube. And then we're going to go to the summary tab. That's going to kind of give you an estimated idea of how big the file size. 145 megs, not too bad. Uh, after export, you can choose to open with QuickTime, send the compressor, or do nothing. So we'll go to open with QuickTime. Uh, for this video, I'm going to do video only since there's no audio really in this timeline. And let's go ahead and go to next. Uh, we are on the desktop. We got my iPhone open just to time it. Uh, you guys can time along with me with the video portion. So we'll go Final Cut Pro 10 uh, speed test. And that'll be on the desktop. And we'll hit save, and that should start us up. Got the stopwatch going. Uh, and I thought I was actually going to have to play some music, but this looks to be exporting really, really fast, which is a good sign. Uh, and if you guys go up to the right corner, this is a beautiful thing. It is utilizing all the cores, all the threads, uh, and it's actually using the CPU. So before you might see this barely being taxed uh, with the older versions of Final Cut, this is actually being used. Uh, right now I'm about 25 seconds in. Again, this is a one minute clip, 1080p at 23.9 frames per second. Uh, we're just about wrapping it up 63, 65%, 18 seconds remaining. Uh, and it looks like it almost should export in real time, which is going to be a huge improvement uh, over previous versions of Final Cut Pro. We are on the home stretch now. So if you guys pick this up, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know how you like it so far. Uh, I am loving it so far. Definitely looking forward to diving in and learning more things with it. And we are done. So on my clock, got 58 seconds. So like I said, basically real time. Uh, and keep in mind, this is with screen flow recording. So it's going to be faster in real life. Uh, but I'm doing multiple tasks. And it did utilize all the cores, all the threads. So that is great. Uh, if you guys missed the first look, I'll post that video right here. I'm going to have a lot more of these coming up very soon. As always, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.